Okay, so um, back in 2003, there was an article written in the New York Times um, by Elizabeth Rosenthal um, about a suburb one hour north of Beijing called Zhujun. Um, and this suburb was uh, a complete replica of Orange County, California. Um, it was built in 2003 as well um, in anticipation of the Summer Olympics in 2008 to make it more westernized. So what they had did was they had flown in architects and interior designers from real Orange, from real Orange County, California to design a sort of suburb basically um, that catered to middle to upper class um, Chinese. So it was sort of the Truman Show sort of idea where um, all these places were um, sort of, you know, um, simulated after sort of terracotta roofs and sort of this idea of the American dream, basically. Um, there was a mishmash of all these different sort of design and architectural styles, um, different materials being used. Um, so it's sort of like this weird, uncanny sort of people lived here, but I didn't see anybody outside, really. Uh, I love this image because you knew that you know, there was a child there, a kid who was riding his bike, but nobody was around. So um, the way that I sort of tried to approach this was finding things that were a bit more cinematic or staged, but um, sort of playing around those lines. Um, on the main strip of the road was these, these murals uh, painted on there. But I liked how the image within the image, and then looking at uh, the space as well in terms of the plant life and the trees and the bamboo in the background. Um, Again, this is sort of finding these weird artifacts at the dead end road of this sort of carriage, makeshift carriage. Um, but what I wanted the viewer to sort of see in this is sort of this sort of really like simple image of a suburb, but when you look closely, you really don't know exactly where you are until you sort of see the signs and symbols sort of within everything. Um, I love this image as well, and this was just shot just outside of Shanghai in Thames Town, but it was like the canoe. And uh, for me, a lot of my work deals with East and Western culture, and the canoe sort of symbolized Canadiana, but if you look closer, it's sinking. So it's just sort of like, what's going on here? And it's somebody's backyard, basically. So this idea of sort of um, making, yeah. So at the same time, <laughs> this is going by quickly. Um, at the same time, uh, when I was in Beijing, there was a, a theme park just outside of the city um, called The World. And basically, it was this theme park, and it had to, uh, replications of all these different monuments from around the world. Um, and this one uh, had this crazy airplane, and it's gone. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, I think this was a nice sort of mix with the suburban area homes that people lived in with this sort of theme park idea, because I think both of them play off this idea of set, backdrop, um, place, um, and this idea of globalization, like what happens when um, people in China sort of adopt ideas from, from America and this idea of sort of shattering or, or looking at this idea of the American dream or what's sort of expected from those things. Uh, I love this image because of the David reference as well, sort of art history and going back and forth and then framing the woman um, in that exact same arch at the same time. Uh, wasn't planned or anything, sort of being there at the exact same time. Um, uh, a lot of my uh, work in terms of aesthetics sort of play off of all these different sort of um, documentary to stage to, to snapshot to uh, tourism. So photographing tourists in sort of these awkward or weird poses that you sort of do when you go into these sites um, and you're being photographed. So me photographing somebody else and seeing how people pose, people dressing up in certain areas within this theme park, photographing other people, and seeing how we sort of look at one another became really interesting at the same time as well, where we're sort of playing dress up or role um, within all these sort of different situations. Um, as you know, China sort of has been documented a lot by different photographers and it's going through this sort of rebirth. Um, this one's called Sexy Pisa where she sort of sets up her camera um, and she sort of pose, you know, really sexy against the, the backdrop. But um, there's this sort of humor context to most of the work that I, that I produce as well. Um, Martin Parr is a, a big influence on my work in terms of tourism. Uh, and then like, a, you know, this image of, of New York City still with the two twin towers and thinking about history, thinking about monuments, thinking about how um, all these things sort of come into to one image and what does that say and what does that mean and how do these play off of all the other ones as well, so. Um, yeah, 
and then using figures and people in the photographs as markers to sort of play with the scale within things and buildings and sort of looking at um, the relationship to, to these fake sort of places and sort of dwarfing them at the same time. And um, if anybody has been to Beijing, the, the, the amount of new buildings that are being made are, are crazy high and over the top and you feel like you're so small. So I was trying to sort of encapsulate all those ideas, especially with this one here, with the little girl sort of standing right in the corner with the, the huge sort of you know, motif architecture in the background. It's almost swallowing her. Um, again, this is sort of, uh, was shot in a park, uh, Rishin Park in the middle of Beijing. Um, unstaged and sort of going in and, and shooting this person from behind and not sort of showing the person's identity um, sort of relates to the idea of, of sort of trying to confuse everything at the same time when we're sort of trying to adopt different ideas. Um, this was shot at the train station um, in Beijing. I included it because um, a lot of the facades around the city have these sort of artificial backdrops, landscapes. Um, that stand in to, to sort of hide the construction and all that other stuff. And I thought this was a really great narrative between the girl and the guy talking on the phone. Um, I also ended up going to real Orange County. Uh, this is an image from Orange County. So I drove all around uh, Disneyland because I thought Disneyland was a really good sort of um, juxtaposition between the, the amazing park that I shot in, in uh, Beijing and uh, the sort of like weird sort of uncanny makeshift uh, hedge and stuff and this is my final image and this was shot at Laguna Beach and this sort of like I think plays off of the Asian influences um, with the straw hat and the orange because of Orange County um, but I thought it was just really weird this was on stage this guy sitting on the beach and I was just like what straw hat with the hood on hiding from the sun it was just really bizarre and strange um, yeah that's it <laughs>